your Tinkercad friends. I have been working on these print-in-place tops and I have come up with a super cool strategy for making them. This is what I called top seven, but bam, let me show you how we're going to make top eight. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name to top eight. Uh, the nice thing about this project is you can have as many copies as you want. I'm going to ask you to start building with the cone. Let's start by adjusting our shape using the numbers on this side. Let's make the top radius 4, so it'll be 8 millimeters all the way across. And let's make the base radius 3.5, so that it'll be tapered a little bit, which makes it uh, easier to grab and spin. Let's make the height 25, just because we're adjusting these. Uh, this is where it gets fun, because your numbers will make it different. And then you could make the sides less so that it was a different shape. I'm going to take them all the way to 64 so it's round. Here's where it gets super cool. Press W to set your work plane to the top of that piece and bring out another cone that you're going to use for the next part of your top. This time we want the radius to be 4 again so it'll match up. I'm sorry, this time we'll want the base to be 4 again so it'll match up. But this is where you adjust the top radius, and I'm going to make mine 22. So notice now, it'll be able to print upwards, and then it'll um, bridge itself out, uh, and hopefully be successful. I'm going to try a 6 millimeter slope. I'm going to switch to the front view so you can see how it'll build out. I'm going to change that to 7 millimeters, and this is where you explore to try and find the best design you can. I'm going to press W again, and I'm going to go to the top of that shape, and I'm going to bring out another cone. I'm going to do this cone with its base radius of 22, and I'm going to make its top radius um, 4, so it'll be ready for the point, and I'm going to make it 5 high, so it'll just gradually build up. And then I'm going to grab all three of those, and I'm going to do a line so that they're aligned on the center like that. So my top has been created. All I need to do is add a point. We're going to use W or work plane again, and this time we're going to put the work plane up on top where that point goes. And I'm going to make my point with a nether cone. Uh, I'm going to get really fancy on this one, though. I'm going to make it uh, 9 millimeters high. And I am only going to do five sides, so it's actually going to end up being a pentagon. And then I want the base radius to be five. I'm going to make sure that fits on my little cylinder, and I do like the way it is. I'm going to grab the entire project once again, and I'm going to center it in this direction and this direction. And I have created another amazing top. At this point, I'm going to hit W to shut off the work plane. Remember, we already named it Top 8, so I am going to just simply export it as an STL, bring it into Kira, and I'm going to print it. Keep your eyes peeled on Instagram, and you'll be able to see this little top moving in no time. Thanks for watching. See how awesome your top can turn out, and please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>